Um, surprisingly easy, actually. What's in here? A... A dog? It is, it's a... It's a badly stitched together dog. I swear there are taxidermists watching this right now, weeping at the mishmash of pathetic stitching that's gone into this. Yeah, someone's pinned a bird to the wall, that's pleasant. Uh, okay, what's this? Animal experiment. Uh, Canis lupus familiaris. I believe that's the uh, Latin name for the common house dog. Common house dog. <laughs> uh, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain inducing fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous an endogenous response causing the animal to burst with energy. It's called adrenaline. Uh, I don't know, would they have known about adrenaline in 1658? No. Um, I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic gen genesis. It reeks of cosmic genesis. I'm going to say genius then. Cosmic genesis. Um, there is an inherent problem in harvesti harvesting the energy since the creature is bound to die from the ex from the exercise. Yeah. I must refine the process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that, the, that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Animal or human experimentation, you freak. Oh well, 1658 is long dead. Oh, oh dude. Oh, this is. Oh, that is wrong. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, I'm not a lover of dogs, but dude, seriously? Oh, that is grim. Uh. Oops. Let's see what you have to offer. Oh no. Dude. Oops. friends, if you aren't depressed right now, you're probably not human. Uh, another dog's head. A rabbit. That's also been badly stitched together. Uh, bird. Okay, that was Alexander's voice. Hang on, if that was Alexander's voice, and he's the one experimenting on, experimenting on dogs, that letter was in 1658, and this is like 1830s, 1840s. Well, Alexander is what over 200 years old? What? No. Oh. Bloody hell, that was there. <laughs> Be mannequin. Uh, I'm depressed now. <coughs> Is that him? Is that Alexander? Yeah, he's got. 
He's got an A on his jacket. You fucking arsehole. I look forward to torturing you in the most horrible manner. Hmm. Uh, anatomy... What's that say? From Frontiers? Anatomy Frontiers. 1658, Chengri the Ninth. Uh, further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in any particular interest, I must attempt to fill the void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice, as they will prove less of a hassle to acquire. Hmm. I hate you. But then again, in all honesty, as long as you didn't do any experimenting on cats, I can live and let live. Nothing? Mm, empty. Tinder. Empty. Ugh. Um, it would appear that animal experimenting was not enough. <laughs> oh, Yorick. I knew him, but no. Oh, fuck off. I have to confess, that's the only bit of Hamlet I actually know. Hmm. Uh, okay, that's pointless going down there, so back to the black hole. Black hole or is it back hole? I can't remember. Truth be told, I don't care. Back hole. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Never heard of Professor Taylor. No, who gives a shit? The cunt's dead anyway. So yeah, the back hall, so-called because, it, well, it's a hall at the back of the mansion, I assume. Makes sense when I think about it. Uh, step over the disembodied torso of whoever the hell that was. Storage all the way the the wind wanted me to go. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. True. It looks ridiculous. The shade will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Oh yes. Oh yes, my friend. Sunstroke hurts. Take it from a man with experience. That one week in Cyprus. Uh, I'm still having nightmares about it. Another one? You have an ascending room. Will you take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. <laughs> Ah, oh, the calming music's back. Let's make it just show the uh, the attitude of the times. An ascending room? 
You mean a lift? Lift. Elevator. Whatever you call it. Machine room. Is locked. But... I have a key. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all of the sedatives he could find. Excuse me, just there. Had to get a drink of water there. Uh, uh, the machine room, it's... Um... Yeah. Full of pipes. By the sounds of it, steam pipes. Makes sense, I suppose. Steam pipes which I can't interact with. Yeah. Not so much a steam room, more sort of... I don't know, Freddy Krueger's summer getaway? I don't know. Who? There's nothing left. Everything is gone. Who the hell was that? Oh. There's nothing left anyway. July, 1839. Except a diary. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Oh, Less no. than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Charlie, you bastard. You killed Will Smith. That's it. Next time I see you, I'm gonna fucking throw something at you. On second last night, I'll just piss you off with your walk over and tear my face off with your bug-eyed, jawless, whatever the hell you are. Is that lamp? That's the tinder down here. Pick it up. Yes. Hey. What the hell does that say? Adequato pressus. Pressure. A set of six letters and Roman numerals. Oh, what, the, what the hell did that... Um, Let's say up eight, down eight. Uh, I get you, I get you. Um, um, one, uh, two, three, eight. Okay, yet another insultingly easy puzzle.